Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I was trying to go live on YouTube, but I'm having issues over there. Not sure what's going on. Let me move this out of the way. Not sure. So I came over here to TikTok, so. Hey, how y'all doing? Hey, Prophet Jeff, how you doing? How you doing, sweetness? Welcome, welcome. I got some people coming over from YouTube because I've been trying to go on live on YouTube for about 45 minutes now. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. The microphone just went kaput for some reason, but we'll just do the message over here. Thank God I got my messages typed, well, my notes typed up in Word. So, uh, hey, sweetness, I was over there. Yeah, I'm just waiting for everybody to come on over. I, I was just getting frustrated. <laughs> Every time I go live, it's not every time I go live, but when I talk about certain things, for some reason something happened. Usually it's the Wi-Fi, now it's the mic all of a sudden. I don't I don't know. But hey, how you doing, Pastor Israel? Welcome, welcome. Love and care, how you doing? God bless you. Thank y'all for being here. We uh let me tell I'm gonna go end this live. Yeah, because I'm not sure what's going on. Thank you for that prophet's Quenisha. <laughs> well, I tell you. Let me find my messages. I was ready for this one, but hey, it is what it is. We still gonna deliver the message though. We still here, so we still can deliver the message. So hey Prophet Quenisha, thank you for sharing that out. I, I I tried everything I could. I was I was even talking to Restream to figure out what was going on. I don't know. I'll talk to them afterwards. Uh, let me shut this down right here. Okay, let me pull this over. Hold on, let me get my notes straight. Let me pull them over here so I can see. How y'all doing? Welcome. Hey, wifey. My wife is in here. Hey, y'all follow my wife, uh, North Free Living, Protest Quenisha. She is over there holding it down, trying to help me out over there. Just, I don't know what's going on. But hey, we're going to deliver the message one way or the other, so... The message will come out one way or the other, and I'll just have to download this once I'm done, and then uh, uh, upload this to YouTube at some point. So that's, I forgot the audio tonight or tomorrow or something. So let me close down this YouTube right now. All right, so I got that closed. Not sure what's going on over there, but hey, it is what it is. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. <laughs> I see it, wife. I'm encouraged. Just, you know, you're ready to go live and ready to do everything. And then all of a sudden, the enemy will attack you. I can tell you that much. Especially doing a message about witchcraft or prophecy and psychics. I don't know. I, yeah, I guess I should have checked my audio. Before my audio was working, like I said, the mic just went out. I have no idea. So... We're going to pray over the computer and lead it over there. But I need it for the word, uh, for the message. Uh, so, again, if you're just coming in, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to StreamYard. That's what I used to use. And I I started using Restream. And, yeah, I'm going to tell Restream. I'm going to have to tell y'all about it. I'm going to give me my money back. That's <laughs> something. I don't know. I, I'll do some checks and balances after this, after this and figure out what's going on. But, uh, yeah. But, hey, how y'all doing, man? Welcome. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for being here. I know some of y'all coming over. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. I think it might be the laptop too. There's something going on with my laptop, so I have to do a whole thing with Lenovo. Uh, I'll do it after this. They can walk through it and do a check or whatever on this system and figure out what's going on with the uh, audio. Yeah, so we'll figure that out. Oh, you say profiters have been oh was having the same issues with that platform with restream. Hmm. Okay. All right. Something to think about. I'll, I'll dig into it after this. But thank y'all for being here, man. Uh, God bless you. If you came over from YouTube, I know it's been 45 minutes, so we're 45 minutes late. And my wife actually has a uh, a video. She's about to, well, a, a podcast she's about to do at 7. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go get on through this and do the best we can. Like I so said, I forgot to... The computer or whatever it is later on but again hey this is uh 
Again, thank y'all for being here. My name is Solomon Savoy. For for y'all that, that that don't know me, I know some of y'all getting invited by certain people. Thank y'all for inviting people over. Like I say, we was on YouTube, couldn't get it going, so we came over here to deliver the message because I just wanted to get this. I feel like my wife tonight. I was frustrated, but I was like, I want to deliver this message. I like I typed this message. It's a good message, <laughs> so I just want to get it out. So uh uh yeah, thank you for that, Prosper Nisha. Thank you for the uh. <laughs> Thank you, wifey. You go. God, God, you. God, love God, you. you. My <laughs> wife just came here giving me encouragement. And so, my wife, oh, thank you for that. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for that confirmation. I did want to mention, I was going to mention on another thing. I don't know if you can really can see it, but my wife was featured in this magazine. Uh, it's called uh, Speakers, January of 2024. I know it's on my phone. It's hard to see it, but it's my beautiful wife. She's in there. She's featured. Uh, the article. I don't know how you get. Oh, you know what? You can go to. If somebody want to type this in the chat, www.speakersmagazine.com. Shannon Pock can put it in there, and you can go see her article, featured article that she has in this magazine. So I'm gonna put it on YouTube, but hey, we we still go talk about it. So again, that's www.speakersmagazine.com. If you want to check out that article later on, and then also we have a. Uh, uh, anniversary coming up. I know Prophetess uh, Jasmine has one coming up as well. Our anniversary on the 20th, so we'll be celebrating our anniversary in a few days. So, you know, so I still got a lot to be happy about. I'm not worried about what happened on YouTube. We'll figure it out later on. We're here on TikTok, so we're about to let it rip. Uh, again, thank y'all for joining. Uh, tap the screen if you want to show love. Uh, we have a few moderators, and I know Prof. Konisha in here. My wife is in here. I know she's going to be uh, getting off in a while because she got to go do something, but you know, hey, just bear with us. But again, this is prophet versus the psychic, uh, the truth versus the lie. I gotta read from my from my notes. So, hey, we'll go we'll go do it the best best way we can. And I'm not a prophet. Prophet Kanisha, prophet Kanisha, and prophet Jazz. My wife is a prophet. They uh know more about this, but I like to do research and I like to figure out some things. So, uh, Pastor Ezra, you got my back. <laughs> Pastor Ezra did too. I know he got my back as well. I know you know other people got my back. Thank y'all for the happy anniversaries. God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. But let's get into this message because I already wasted a lot of y'all time over on YouTube. I don't want to, uh, yeah, uh, how, how I do that, Pastor Israel? Hold on. Let me see. I don't know how to do that. Pastor Kanisha, how I make him a mod, Pastor Kanisha? Pastor Kanisha know how to do that. I, I know I did it once, but I can't remember how I did it, Pastor Israel. I would like to do that before I get started, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, I don't know. Prof. Kanisha got to tell me. Prof. Kanisha, can you make him a model? I have to do it. I can't. I don't even know. I don't know. So let's see. If I can figure it out, or she, if Prof. Kanisha tell me, because I did it once. I just, and Prof. Kanisha, I think the one told me how to do it the first time. Uh, I just, I don't remember how to, uh, to do it. Okay, so once we figure it out, once Prof. Kanisha tell me or somebody tell me, I'll I'll make you hold his name down and click the flag. Oh, okay. See, I told you she know how to do it, Prof. Kanisha. That's my sister. She know how to do all kind of stuff. Let me see. Let me figure this out. Hold his name down. Okay, where's the flag? Oh, add moderator. Ha! Got it. Okay. Thank you for that, Prof. Kanisha. I, I like a flag. I got it. I think I think I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. I think I got it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. So prophet versus psychic, truth versus a lie. That was the message I was going to deliver on YouTube, but now you're getting it exclusively over here on TikTok for now to upload it on on YouTube. <laughs> It's on Block Game Show. Thank you for that, Pat. Because they do have people that come in sometimes. So thank you for that. So let's let's what I like to do. Let's first uh, let's talk about the prophet first. Let's I'm gonna break this down: the prophet and the psychic, and why you probably shouldn't be going to the psychic, and why you shouldn't be requesting prophecy from the the prophet or the prophetess all the time. So we'll break that down. Let's get in. Y'all ready? Just say you ready in the chat. Let's 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 make sure we all on the same page. I'm ready now. I didn't woo side. My wife didn't came talk to me, so I'm ready. Let me give me a little sip of water. <laughs> And I don't have my, my sound effects and stuff because, hey, it is. Okay, y'all ready? All right, cool, cool. 
So profit. And you can Google any of these terms. I did, you know, I did add some of the stuff to it. So if you see me looking up, that's because I'm reading my, my notes. That's the only reason why I'm looking up. Uh, I don't know all this stuff by heart. So, hey, <laughs> uh, probably going to say born ready. All right. So profit. Prophet is a person regarded as an inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of God, a person who speaks for God as or has direct relationship connection with God. Would, would you agree with that with a, with a prophet? And you know, that goes prophet or prophetess. I should have put that in there, but prophet or prophetess, again, is a person regarded as an inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of God, a person who speaks for God or has a direct, direct relationship or connection with God. So, okay, okay, we're in agreement with that. So, let's go on. So, a prophet teaches truth and interprets the word of God. He calls the unrighteous to repentance. We see prophets, Kanisha, and prophetess Jasmine do this all the time on their lives. My wife does it on when she's on YouTube. Uh, we call the unrighteous to repent, not we, them, them. Uh, he, re he receives revelations and directions from the Lord for our benefit. So, the prophet and the prophetess will receive revelations and direction from the Lord. That's why I say you can't go requesting. I know when Prophetess Jasmine is live and other people are live, Prophetess uh, Quenisha as well, a lot of people like to request, can you prophesy? That's not how that works. My uh, my understanding, and, and not just me reading, but my understanding how the prophet and prophetess work, they have to have a download. Think about you downloading a movie on your computer, which I wish my computer was working, but think about you downloading a computer, uh, downloading a movie to your computer, right? Well, you can't watch the movie until the movie downloads. So the prophet and the prophetess cannot give you a message until they get a spiritual download from God. Does that make sense? I hope that's making sense. So you have to understand that when you go into their lives saying prophesy with me, prophetess Jasmine and prophet Kanisha and prophet Shan, that doesn't work like that. They have to have the download. So, yes. They might be getting something downloaded to speak to you at some point, but that don't necessarily mean it's going to be tonight or whatever night they live, okay? Thank you for that, that hand heart. Uh, God bless you, Prophet Kanish. So hopefully that's making sense. So uh, the prophet may see into the future and, and foretell coming events so that the world may be warned. A prophet may come from various stations in life. So prophets come from different calling, you know, men, women. It's not a, just a man thing, not just a woman thing. You know, there's prophet and prophetess as well, right? So, hey, Alicia Davis, how you doing? God bless you. So we got to have that basic understanding of a prophet. And why you shouldn't always ask a prophet. If you notice, whenever a prophet is Jasmine is live, uh, she, she'll she be in there. I don't know how she does it. It's, I just know she does it. She'll be in there with 2,000 people and then all of a sudden they got a Leon in here. I'm like, how she know they got a Leon in here? And she'll be like, they got a Leon. That's because she got the download of something that she needs to tell Leon. You see what I'm saying? So if your name not Leon, she's not talking to you. And if your name not Sarah, that's not that's not for you. So it, it'll come when it comes. So if she's live for six hours and she didn't happen to prophesy or tell you something, well, right, the Holy Spirit, right? Right. Uh well that that's just not your time. Maybe tomorrow or whenever she goes live again, maybe you'll be able to get that. Okay. So just understand, uh right, she's connected with God. Just understand that that when those things happen, it's not that she don't like you. It's not that because she prays for everybody. It's not that she don't want to prophesy over you. It's that she don't have a message for you. And you'll hear Prophet Quenisha and Prophet Jasmine say that all the time. Can't I can't tell you something that I don't have. It's like me giving you money that I don't have. I can't give you a thousand dollars if I don't have it. Right. So there's that. So when you think of a prophet, who or what comes to mind? When you think of a prophet, talking about for the Bible, from the Bible, or you can you can mention Prophet Kanisha or Prophet Shannon or a Prophet Jasmine. If that's who comes to mind, what comes to mind? I'm just just a, a a question. Thank you for the uh for the roses, uh, love and care. God bless you. Just something to think about. How you doing, lyricist? How you doing? So think about that. When when you think of a prophet or a prophetess, what or who comes to mind? Ooh, Sablin says Moses. Okay, okay. y'all sure? Okay, I see I see y'all. I see y'all participating. Elijah. Okay, I see Elijah. All right. Hey, I like that. I like that. Uh, I, I like doing participation. So it was just a question. Uh, what is a prophecy? A prophecy is a prediction in Google terms. That's basically what it is. Just if you go Google it, it's going to say it's, it's, it's a prediction. And in the Bible, if you look at the Bible term of it, it's a gift. So Google, when you Google prophecy, it's going to say it's a prediction. You can agree or disagree, but I agree more with the Bible. The Bible call it a gift. So somebody that is a prophet or a prophetess, like you see Prophet Quenisha and Prophet Jasmine and my wife in here right now, and any of the prophets, you see that are real. We're going to get into the real and fake here shortly. Uh, it's a gift that they have to be able to prophesy over your life, to be able to tell you, hey, 
You have witchcraft around you to be able to tell you that things are, you know, you're under attack by the enemy and things like that. So understand that. Thank you for that promise, Phoenicia. So Jeremiah, yes, yeah, that's another good one. So understand that as well. So understand that a real prophet will tell you the truth because it is from God. They have no, no, no reason to lie to you. Now, remember what I said. A real prophet. We're not talking about the fake prophet. We're talking about a real prophet will tell you the truth because it's coming from God himself. We're going to talk about the fake ones in a little while, how they tell lies and falsities and things like that. But I'm talking about a real prophet. A real prophet will tell you the truth because it's from God. First Bible verse is 2 Peter 1, 21. For no prophecy, again, so y'all put it in the chat. 2 Peter 1 and 21. For no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man. But men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. That's kind of what Pastor Israel was saying earlier when I was saying I didn't know how she get that. It comes from the Holy Spirit. I knew, but I just, you know, just what I do sometimes. Uh, so understand that. Again, 2 Peter 1, 21. Thank you for putting that in there, Prophet Quenisha. Uh, Right, wifey. Prophets, prophets are born and appointed, not made. Right. They don't. They, they, they don't come through life and when they turn 25, all of a sudden, you know what? I'm going to school to learn how to be a prophet. It's not, it's not how that works. Uh, my wife say uh, prophets don't even want to be prophets most of the time, especially early on. Right. Just like pastors don't want to be pastors. Right, Pastor Israel? <laughs> I'm just saying. We're not talking about the pastors tonight. We're talking about prophets and prophets. But understand that uh, 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 a real prophet will tell you the truth because it comes from God. Right. Okay. So moving on. And this is a book that I don't really read, to be honest with you. Uh, but when I was looking at scripture, this verse came out. I was like, oh, you know what? I, I looked at the book before, but I haven't really read it. You know, a, a, a lot is not a big book, but still. Uh, but let me say this before, before I read that, 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 uh, that verse. Understand that again. When we're talking about prophets, and we're talking about, so I got to do it on my, <laughs> see, that's why I like being on my computer or on a camera. That's why I need a camera. Anyway, when we're talking about the prophet and the psychic, I don't want you to get it uh, confused of the two. That's why I'm doing this message, because a lot of people get the prophet and the psychic confused. That's what we're talking about. So you say prophet and prophetess, they over here, and you say the psychic, the medium, and all these other tarot card readers, I'm going to talk about that, they, they different. They, they not the same. It goes back to that Bible verse. That I just said, 2 Peter 1 21, for no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man. See, when I'm thinking about, and I'm jumping ahead of myself, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. When I'm thinking about psychics and tarot card readers and, and mediums, psychic mediums, people like that, that is produced by the will of man. Now, what I mean by that is, they, it's, I know people say, well, they telling me some truth because they knew my grandma, they could see my grandmother. Uh uh. For one, they're talking to your grandmother. That's necromancer. So that's for another teaching. That's necromancer. Think about what I'm saying. They're talking to your grandmother that passed away four years ago or a year ago. That is necromancy. So understand that if this psychic medium that you go into their little spooky, weird house and sit at that table and they got weird incense burning and potions and skeletons and, and you know how they had a little skeleton bone crop, if they have that, at their home, and they telling you, "Hey, I I see a passion in your life. Somebody that you that you love. I get it. Yes, it's it's truthful. It, it is. But they telling you, I, I see, I see somebody. Maybe it's someone older. Maybe it's a grandmother. And you say, yes, that, yeah, my grandmother. I, and you know, I can see the name and all that. Guess what? Your grandmother passed. Whenever she passed, and this can go for you know any person, mother, father, grandmother. I'm just using grandmother as 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 a, a, a example." Your grandmother passed, right? So if this person is telling you, I'm talking to your grandmother and she said it's going to be okay, you might as well go ahead, get up from the table. You can keep, matter of fact, give me my money back because I don't want no parts of this because this is evil and it's the mind. How are you talking to my dead grandmother talking about she says it's going to be all right and, and, and she's saying she in heaven and it's okay? Wait, what? what where they do that at? I mean, think, think about that. If you sitting down, right, familiar spirits, thank you, y'all, y'all, y'all help me out. You know, I was, I was a little uh, off when YouTube didn't work, but yeah. So, so think about that. But people have done this and people continue to do this. They go sit down with a psychic, psychic medium, whatever you want to call them, spiritual advice, whatever you want to call these people. They sit down with these people and then, you know, they'll share 
intimate details and this person will begin to speak and you know you see all the movies they go all out and some sometimes the stuff is true you know the table might shake or whatever you see some of the lights cut off you know some of that stuff is made up some of it is not but guess what when they start talking to that spirit to that familiar spirit to your which is not your grandmother that stuff is evil is demonic and it's wicked so i just want to make sure we understand that all right same so they be having they be having you building altars and stuff right they want a picture of your grandmother nah Mm -mm. Nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm not giving you a picture of my grandmother. They want a picture of your past relative or a friend. Nah, I'm not. I'm not giving you pictures. What What you want to do with that picture? Because they're going to take it over there, put it in a little potion. You think it's water. It ain't water. It ain't water. Think about what I'm saying. They put that picture over there in that, that liquid and they got some little bones. They said some chicken bones. They throw them chicken bones in the thing and say, hey, we're going to talk to your to your sister. Nah. Mm, I'm, I'm good play with divination or keep running and you'll end up loco right right so that's that that's that's a whole nother level of evil that you don't want to even get involved in at no 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 way shape or form right so let me read this by verse this is from uh the book of amos a-m-o-s 3 7 for the lord god does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants the prophets I'm gonna read that again it didn't say i'm gonna read it i'm gonna tell you what it don't say uh, somebody can put that in the chat. Amos, A-M-O-S, 3, 7. For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. It didn't say to the psychics. So if you go into psychics and they saying they got a message from God, you can put up this Bible verse and say, well, he don't reveal stuff to you, psychic. You lying. That's lie number one right there. Just I'm just I'm just here to point out lies. You can agree to disagree. I'm just here to point out truths and lies. That's all I'm doing. So again, they, they, these psychics are telling you things that they're getting a message from God or from whatever being. Sometimes I don't even say God. They just say, I'm getting a message. Who are you getting that message from? See, it's all about the source. See, you can go get a message from, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. This is the only name came to mind. You can go get a message from T.D. Jakes or, or one of these other people, right? I'm not saying they prophets. Or, that's not what I'm saying. I just want you to pay attention. You can go get a message from them. And you can turn around and go get a message from, I just go use T.D. Jakes in, a, in, a, in a, good, a good way. You can go get a message from T.D. Jakes, right? And then you can turn around and go get a message from a psychic. Both messages can be similar. Understand what I'm saying? They can be similar, almost identical. But the difference is you got to understand where did T.D. Jakes get his message from and where did this person, this, this, this psychic, get their message from? They sound the same. They, 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 they written out. They look the same. It, it lines up the people they say it, it sounds the same but if the source is wrong that means the message is wrong let me say this a different way if the if 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 the psychic medium got their message from the devil are you do you still want to hear that message from the devil i'm just asking the question you can answer in the chat if the psychic that you're going to got their message from the devil do you still want to hear that message i'm just asking or sweetness say no lyrics say no or you go to the man and God, whether it's TDJ, whoever, you know, you test the spirit by the spirit and test, you know, discern the fruit and whatever with that. I'm not getting all into that. But or do you go to the man of God and get the message from that 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 person or the woman of God? I mean, you got to remember, life is about choices. You can't be on the fence about, well, I'm reading my Bible every day. I'm praying every day, but I'll go talk to to psychic mediums, you know, once a month. I don't think that math math that, that that ain't adding up. So you go to church every Sunday, you sing in the choir, you 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 you're on the usher board, you 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 you, you do the you you know you do devotion, you do all the stuff in the church, you read your Bible, you pray, you call yourself prophetic and all these different things, but once a month you go to the psychic. I don't, I don't know. Thank you for that file. I don't know if. I don't know if those two add up. I, I, I don't think they add up. Matter of fact, I know for a fact that doesn't add up. If you call yourself a child of God and you go and talk to the psychic meeting, well, it's only once a month. You know, they're telling me good stuff and you wonder why things in your life ain't progressing. You wonder why things in your life is going through a process like an evil process. You wonder why things in your life, like everything around you, things are beginning to fall. Well, I always talk about the root cause. Why don't you go think about and figure out that first time you went to this psychic medium or this psychic, whatever you want to call them. And then I want you to figure out when things start to go bad in your life. Right, Alicia, all and water don't mix. That's why Christian witchcraft is not a thing. Nope. Y'all own it. Y'all own it. So understand that. 
So we have to understand that a false prophet or teacher will tell you things for views and likes. I'm going to say that again. A false prophet or a teacher will tell you things for views and likes. Something else that I was when I was writing this up that I discovered a false prophet will tell you things to get a knee jerk reaction. What I mean by that? See, they'll tell you something. They get a knee jerk reaction, meaning they'll tell you something. They might know a little bit about your history or maybe they did a little investigation or maybe the source they got, which is demonic. And you know what I'm saying? It's your ears, right? It's demonic in all, all aspects of the word demonic. And they know some things about you, right? But they tell you these things to get a knee jerk reaction because their reaction is going to determine what's going to happen next. Let me say this. Another, let me say this another way. So if you go to the psychic and oh, let me read this. Wow. What does it profit a man? Oh, yeah. Right. Prosecution. If you go to a psychic and they tell you everything you want to hear. That's bad. I'll call that like a uh, like a yes, man. See, the difference to me in the psychic and the prophet is the prophet is telling you stuff that you probably need to hear. They telling you stuff that you don't want to hear. The psychic is telling you stuff that you want to hear. Y'all, y'all catching what I'm? You follow me? What what I mean is, okay. Let me let me say this a different way. Let's get into the psychic real quick. So again, a false prophet or teacher will tell you things for views or likes, and then a uh, a false prophet will tell you things to get a knee jerk reaction, right? So let's go a little bit deeper. Y'all mind if I go a little bit deeper? I know on TikTok, I don't go live as often, but we're going to go just a little bit deep. So psychic, let's break down a psychic right quick. We ain't going to forget about the problem. We're going to come back, but let's, let's, I want to get this so we understand. Psychic, just go Google it. It's, it's just a basic definition relating to or denoting uh, faculties or ph phenomena uh, that are inexplicable by natural laws, especially involving uh, clairvoyance and I think it's telepathy, yeah. Like psychic visions and thoughts. That's basically what, what it is. So a psychic, no, let me read this first. So I will call a false prophet, me. I'm talking about a false prophet. I will call him a psychic, a tarot card reader, a palm reader, uh, uh, et cetera. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I probably can come up with some other names. Again, a false prophet to me in my eyes is a psychic, a tarot card reader, a palm reader, uh, a spiritual advisor. I'm talking about the spiritual advisor that, 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 that's in these homes and they, they never talk about church or anything like that. Right. There's as many faces. So you have to understand that these a good example is that's so rare. You've been talking about that. I had to repent for watching that show. I, I, you had told me about that uh, the other day and I was like, I forgot I did watch that show. I had to repent for watching that so rare. Never. She was having psychic visions, but you know, when you're a kid, you're not thinking about this stuff like that. Hey, how you doing, Mr. H? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so that is what I call a false prophet, a psychic, tarot card reader, or a palm reader. So many people go to prophets. <laughs> this is where it's starting to get good. If you don't think it's good yet, I think we're about to turn. We're about to turn this. I, I can feel it. We're about to turn the corner right now. It's like running a race. And you know how you take off. You run around that first that first, that first, first corner. Well, we, we come around the corner right now. I was just warming up because I had to you know, get my mind right. So many people go to prophets. To get a psychic delivery. Let me explain what that means. I'm going to say that again. Many people go to prophets to get a psychic delivery. Remember when I first started, I said that people want to go to prophets and they want to want the prophet to prophesy. But the prophet and the prophetess got to get a spiritual download from God to be able to prophesy to you. But see, many people go to prophets to get a psychic delivery. Let me say this a different way because you might catch this a little bit better. Many people go to prophets so they can get a microwave prophetic. Am I saying it right? Yeah, I am. Many people go to prophets to get a microwave prophetic discussion. Because that's what it ends up being. If 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 it's, you know what I'm saying, if you want that psychic thing, right? Because, see, if you go on the psychics and they, you know, you're paying for them. I'm going to talk about that. You, you're getting a, a, it's just different. So I'm going to say this again. Many people go to prophets to get a psychic delivery, right? So the prophet tells you what God told them to say to you has to be released by God. Do we agree with that? It has to be. Sweet Jim, thank you for joining. God bless you. Billionaire mommy. And people pay to go see psych. Right. I'm about to talk about that. Yeah, my notes. Uh, uh, who said that? Uh, billionaire mommy. Yeah, my notes. <laughs> Beaver Soul say, what are the steps for deliverance from the psychic download? Uh, 
Prof. Kanisha can tell you that why I'm in the chat because I'm I'm not talking about that all the way tonight. So I don't want to I don't want to jump into that. But Prof. Kanisha will definitely help you with that, or my wife uh, will help you as well to denounce and renounce. And we got some renunciation we can do uh, as well uh, with that. So. Again, the prophet tells you what God told them to say to you has to re be released by God. A psychic tells you what you pay them. This means that the more you pay, the more they lie to you. I don't know about you, but I, I don't like just giving away money. And I especially don't like giving away money to somebody that's lying to me. Now, I get what you're going to say. It's back to what I said earlier. You're going to say that. Well, what they're telling me, it has some truth in it, Solomon. You're right. But remember, it's all about the source. Yeah, it got truth in it, but it ain't getting it from the devil. I don't want to hear those truths. Because now I have a, 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 a demonic soul tie with this person, and then I'm coming into agreement with what they're telling me, and I'm speaking word curses over myself while I'm sitting there listening to this fool. I'm trying to be as nice as I can on TikTok and, and, and don't get booted up, but I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm doing all right. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you have to understand that these people are telling you it's downloaded, but not from not from God. It's a evil download. So it's like going to the movie. You supposed to be going in there and watching the Smurfs and you sit down and Freddy Krueger come on. That's not what you was expecting. You're like, man, that's not. And you got a five-year-old in there with you because you thought just watching a cartoon. So it's the same way with the, with the psychics. You going in there, think you're going to get a prophetic. <laughs> you going to the psychic, thinking you're about to get a prophetic warning. But guess what? Right. It's sorcery. It's not a prophetic warning because the source where they're getting it from is evil from. You understand what I'm saying? Let me see if I can say this a different way to make sure we all on the same page. This is easy. It's like going to Burger King and ordering McDonald's. Has anybody ever went to Burger King and ordered McDonald's and got a McDonald's, a, a Big Mac? I don't eat McDonald's, but got a Big Mac? I'm just asking the question. Has anybody in here ever went to Burger King and ordered a, a Big Mac and got it? I'm just asking the question. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. So if the answer is no, how can you go to a psychic to get a prophetic warning when they're not prophets? Is that making sense now? How can you go to a psychic that obviously don't believe in God because I didn't broke down some, some verses already. They don't believe in God because they, they out here doing uh doing doing uh psychic stuff that you know God talked about magic, talked about psychic, talked about necromancy, psychic mediums. You get what I'm saying? Okay, Sweetie says make it see. I, okay, so we're on the same page. So therefore, you cannot go to the psychic to get a prophetic warning or a prophetic healing or let these fools pray for you. I don't know about you, but I know, I know for a fact, I have never let a psychic pray for me. I don't even know if they do that. Proscondition, do psychics pray? They can't anybody answer. Yeah, you gotta be proscondition. Does anybody know if a psychic pray? Because I don't think they pray for I know they tell you a bunch of stuff. I don't know if they actually pray for you. If they did, I wouldn't want them praying for me anyway. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. They do everything. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> they do everything. I don't know. I don't I don't go to these people. Uh, Yeah, they, yeah. Okay, right, right. To their gods, right. I, yeah, I, I'm good. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. So what we have to understand is when it comes to the prophet, the prophecy that shouldn't come into question because it's coming from God, right? Y'all with me? So when you go into a prophet or a prophetess and they are able to reveal, you know, what it is that God told them to tell you, we don't have to question that source because it's coming from God. But see, when you go to a psychic, to me, all the information that just told you should come into question. And the reason why it should come into question because the source is wrong. It's not from God. So it, it's just like we've been talking about lately, like when somebody shows up, you got to ask who sent you. Well, when you sit down with a psychic, you should be asking, what's your source? What is your source? See, if I'm getting milk, milk supposed to come from a cow. I know they got goat milk and all this other milks, but it would be milk from the cow, right? I don't go to a, a water buffalo and try to go get milk. So if I'm going to a psychic, I cannot expect the same thing I would get with a prophet or a prophetess. You see what I'm saying? So your expectations are off when you go into the psychic thinking that you're going to get the same that you just got from a prophet's Kanisha, a prophetess Jasmine, or a prophetess Shannon, or a prophetess Nene. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's no way they're going to be the same. 
And if you even think they're the same, you're wrong. You might as well go ahead, repent, grab your Bible, and call one of the people I just mentioned or go to one of their lives and say, hey, man, you know what? Look here, Prosperanisha, I didn't went to this psychic, and she told me yada, 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 and I need to repent because I realized that was wrong because you had just told me. And that's ain't that crazy. You had, you telling Parker, you had just told me the other day that you know I, I should do this, this, and this, but I didn't believe you, so I went to the psychic. So you don't believe God's word, you believe I ain't trying to step on your toes. I'm just asking the question. You don't believe God, you don't believe what Prosper Nisha told you. No, nah, you don't believe that. You want to go to the psychic and then now you gotta come back to Prosper Nisha. Hmm. That's an old saying, what you do in the dark will come to the light. So that 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 turned around real quick, didn't it? Just saying, just saying. So think about what I'm saying. All right, Anthony Wright. So you got to understand the source should always come into question when you're dealing with medium, psychics, tarot card reading. Tarot cards. I didn't even write a message on this, but they, they all, I need to do a separate teaching. But think about this. I don't have any cards with me. I wish I had like a deck of cards. Uh, You know, I like doing stuff. You know, I got business cards. I don't want to use them, but. uh, Okay, I'll just use this. Let's say. Let's say the, this was a, a some tarot cards, right? So if you look at the tarot cards, I, don't, I ain't got nothing pulled up in front of me. But most of the tarot cards have evil pictures and stuff on all the tarot cards. I ain't looked at all of them because it ain't my thing to go look at. But the ones I have seen are even demonic. So you telling me you're going to sit down on the table, pay this person money, have them flip over some tarot cards just at random and tell you what's going to happen in your life. So let's just say they, and I don't know how they do it because that's not my thing. They flip over this one card. So they didn't shuffle the cards like you had a poker game, right? So you had the crap table. You about to get some crap. Because let me tell you, you, you about to get some crap on you. So think about this. So they shuffle these cards, right? And they put the card down and, and I, I see death in your life. What? And, and then, then, then this fool grab another card, flip it over. I see... I see money in your life. So you see death and you see money? What? So what? Okay, so what are you saying? Then I don't know how many cards they flip over. Let's say they flip over that third card. So you got death, you got money. I see you getting married. Man, hold on, bro. Hold, man, hold up. So you see death. Are you talking about me? What are you talking about? And you see money and you see me getting married. And then the next card, I'm just saying the next card they flip over. I see you getting a divorce. Well, heck, I ain't even got married yet. So you see me, you see death, you see money. You see marriage and you see a divorce, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And I'm supposed to pay you two, three hundred dollars to listen to this, this bull drive. Come on, bro. Think about what I'm saying. They flip over a card to tell you I see death around you. The next card say I see money in your future. The next card say I see marriage in your future. The next card say I see a divorce. What? So the crazy thing about this is, let's say you already got money. So you're like, okay, that's that's a lie. They say they see marriage in your future. You already married. That's a that's a debunk that lie. They see a divorce. We don't do divorce. I already prayed about the marriage. No, so that's a lie. So the only thing that could be a thing, and I ain't agreeing with this one either, is the death thing. But you just flipped over a card. We playing craps over here. And I don't gamble, but we sitting at the table playing craps right now. You just you give me a crappy hand. I don't know. I don't know all them card hands, but I'm just saying that this card hand that you just gave me is trash. If we was playing Uno, I got all number twos. I ain't got no draw fours. This, this is trash right here. <laughs> Probably what you say? I thought I was for this my big brother. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my thing. So do you understand what I'm saying? Why would you go sit and pay money for this person to flip over these dumb cards and tell you about your future when you can read the Bible and learn about your future? I'm gonna say this one more time because maybe you didn't catch. I'm gonna slow it down. Why would you go sit down with a tarot card reader for this fool to flip over cards once you pay them money to tell you about your future? We can go to God and understand your future. Let me say it a different way. Why would you go sit down with somebody in a spooky house that you barely know, that don't know you, that's going to flip over some cards that you didn't pay them a hundred something dollars and told them a few things about your life and, and come into agreement with word curses? Is that making sense now? Cause that's what it is, worker. And they speaking about death. They speaking about marriage. They speaking about money. They speak. Man, I don't want the money. I, you can, you can have. No, uh, uh. I don't want the money. I don't want. I don't want your, 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 your marriage. I'm already married, so that's a lie. No, your death, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So you gotta understand what you coming. Let me put these cards because I'm about to be out here with cards all night. You gotta think I'm playing. Uh, playing. Uh, I declare war Uno or something. But you gotta understand. 
these people, they're just pulling random cards. And don't get me wrong, they might have a, 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 a demonic soul tied with the devil. I get it. They might have a demonic soul tied with a demon. I get it. And this ain't the space we're talking about right here, Pastor. I don't want to play them space. You know, so they demonic soul tie that they have. Yes, they able to speak some truths. She <laughs> probably can either say draw four demons. That, that's exactly what you did. You didn't draw. You didn't draw four. Uh, when we playing Uno, you did not draw four. Uh, draw fours. That's not what you did. You didn't draw four reverses. You drew four demons. Probably can either pin that one more time. You drew four demons. Remember. The first card, I'm going to say this one more time. This is my last time doing it. The first card this fool put down was, I see death around you. Then this fool says she see money. Then she see marriage. Then she see divorce. I hope it ain't a fifth card because what's next? We So we got death, money, marriage, divorce. You know what the fifth card is? This this this. This is the, the this drawing five demons. This probably can you say four. This is five demons right here. This is the fifth card. So remember, we just said marriage, divorce. I see childbirth. What the? Wait, hold on. You talking about in that order? I mean, what, what are you talking about? Because if this is in order, if you see death, then money, then marriage, then divorce, then child, so that means I'm having a child out of wedlock. Mm, nah, ain't coming into agreement with that. What What are you talking about? I mean, because you ain't making no sense. You're, you're, are we, are we supposed to? Because we was taught to read from left to right. But this right here, I would have to read from right to left because this ain't making no sense. Because if I go from left to right, it's death, money, marriage, Divorce, child. So if I go from right to left, it's still wrong. So if you go child first, out of way, like you're not married. Then divorce. Well, hell, you're not married, so that don't work. Then married. What? Then money. Then de man. Hold on, bro. So either way, I don't know how they do. Don't don't quote me for 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 uh, <laughs> for for a tarot card read. If this this not a real tarot card, this not what I do. But I'm just saying, if this what they doing. And they always got that skeleton. I was the one when I stumbled into it on TikTok. I always see that big skeleton thing. I'm like, bro, so that's death. I know that from my safety background. And then they had a little baby thing. I know that's that's bait. Bro, this ain't making no sense. Your five cars is trash. You, you need to go, nah, you need to find another. And all they're doing is taking your money and then and then speaking word curse. Because that's workers. Think about what they're saying. They put in word curse. If, if you come into agreement with the with the death, with the child, with the divorce. Like, oh man, I'm getting a divorce. No, you not that fool. No, you better go. You better go in your in your closet as soon as you leave the house. Try to get your money back. If not, just rebuke the money and just say, you know what? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Say someone hit the wild button. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just trying to have a conversation with y'all. I'm just trying to have a conversation with y'all. So don't go sit down. And I was even talking about them. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a separate read. I'm gonna do a separate teaching once I get my computer back up and running. On tarot card readers, cause they just they hold they they just evil. But let's move on. Let's move on. So, so hey hey uh uh Violet Welker, I ain't see you in here. So we gotta understand that the source can produce. Oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. Hold on. James three fifteen. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but it is earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. Again, what I'm talking about is what I'm talking about is. The psyche. I'm going to say this again. James 3, 15. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, from heaven, from God, but it is earthly. Psyche is, is earthly. Hey, how you doing, pink girl teachers? Joy, welcome, welcome. It's my other sister. Uh, it's unspiritual and demonic. So if I'm telling you that psychics and, 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 and mediums and, and sorcery and witchcraft and tarot card readers and palm readers is demonic, and unspiritual, why would you take your spirit, you know, we all spirit, why would you take your, well, let me say it a different way, why would you take your behind over there and sit your butt down and get them 150 to tell you them card readings, I see death, money, and everything I just said, think about what I'm saying, why would you go sit your butt down, now, you don't have to believe me, I always, thank you for that prop, I always say, you don't have to believe me, test the spirit by the spirit, go read your Bible for yourself, the same verse of James 3.15, go read that for yourself, the other Bible verse I put in there, what it is, we can go through a run for our uh Amos 3 7 and then 2 Peter uh 1 and 21. Go go read this stuff for yourself and read don't just read that verse. I want you to read the verses before and after so you can get a better understanding instead of just taking my word for it. You ain't gotta take my word for it. Just go understand, just get a better understanding on y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Let's keep let's keep moving. So we must understand that the source can produce fruit, 
And we about to, we about to, we come around the track again. So we about to make another turn. I think we got real hot. Thank you for the for the chillers, Pastor. We we come around the track. We about to come around the curve again. So y'all bear with me. Buckle up. Put your seatbelt on. So we must understand that the source can produce fruit. If it's a prophet or a prophet is telling you this, it's gonna you know what I'm saying it's, it's now don't get me wrong. They don't always tell you all good things. That, you know I, I'm not saying that, but but bear with me. We must understand that the source can produce fruit or destroy generations. What I mean by that? We must understand that the source can produce fruit. See, if it's coming from God, if it's coming from God, it's going to produce fruit if you listen to the, pro the prophecy that's being told to you, right? Am I making sense? Hey, how you doing, Carlos? Welcome. But when it's a psychic, what they tell you is not going to produce fruit. It's going to destroy our generations. Is that making sense? I hope this making sense. I'm going to say this one more time. We have to understand when the prophet or the prophetess tell you something from God, especially something that can help you, it's going to produce fruit. So if you plant a tree and if you water it right and, and you know you plant it in the right time, you know, it's all about timing. You plant the right time, it's going to produce fruit. So you plant a banana tree, at some point it's going to produce bananas. You plant an orange tree, it's sometimes going to produce oranges. But if you go to a psychic, it's going to destroy generations. So it don't matter what you plant because, see, the ground is not fertile ground. It's like it's like the ground over there in Chernobyl. Y'all know about Chernobyl, right? So they could, I think they still can't build nothing over there. I think they're trying to start doing stuff now. That happened how many years ago? Chernobyl, y'all know what I'm talking about? With the, with the, uh... I can't even think right now because I'm stuck on something else. But you know what I'm talking about. If you go look up Chernobyl, you'll get what I'm talking about. Thank you for that, uh... One motivated, God bless you. They can't blend because that's not fertile soil. See, over here, what I'm talking about is fertile soil. Going to a tarot card reader, not fertile. Coming talking to uh, a listen to Prosper Nisha, fertile soil. Go and talk to a uh, psychic, it's not fertile soil. Go and listen to my wife, fertile soil. Go and talk to a, a medium, not fertile soil. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Just saying. Hey, how you doing, sis? Our name, welcome, welcome. You got to understand the, the, the intentions behind this. So you, if you understand that the psychic has a hidden agenda, wait for it. The hidden agenda is to <laughs> destroy generations. I'm going to tell you how they do this. So generational curses are sometimes formed when people seek evil counsel. From who? From, psych from psychics. I'm going to say that again. Generational curses or generation, yeah, generational curses are sometimes formed when people seek evil counsel from psychics. Yeah, and I had to go live on here. We was having issues on YouTube. Sorry about that, sis, but we over here. We we over here. We going we going off over here. So think about what I'm saying. Generational curses are sometimes formed when people seek evil counsel from psychics because they want the they they want the the the, the prophecy right now. That's not a prophecy you're getting over there. That's a generational curse you're going over there. Get basically, I ain't got my wallet on me, but let's just say if, if I had, let's say, okay, let's say this was, was, was a stack of money. Let's say it was a hundred dollars, right? And go check out this magazine. My wife in here, matter of fact. If this is a stack of money, right? You telling me I'ma sit down, pay hundred something, two hundred bucks, whatever they charge. I don't know what they charge. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for that proclamation. Pay this person this money, right? For this person to sit there and, and put generational curses on not just myself, mm -mm. Mm -mm. not 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 just my wife, mm -mm. not just my kids, children. Mm -mm. No, it's going for generate even your children, children, children go be affected by you going sit down with this psychic or this medium or this tarot card reading, like Prosper Nisha just said, your bloodline. So you have to understand that when you signing up for these things and you you find it, you find them on Instagram, you find them on TikTok, whatever, and everybody flocking to them. I'm not over there. You ain't seen me over there. Prosper Nisha ain't over there. My wife ain't over there. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all not or nay, I know my sister ain't psychic mediums. Listen to them say what? Hmm. Nah, I'm good. I pass. So let's let's get into generational curses, right? Because I just said generational curses sometimes form when people seek evil counsel from psychics, right? But let's some of y'all might not know what a generational curse is. I'm glad you asked. So generational curse, what is it? Some examples of generational curses are addictions to drug, alcohol, sex, uh, mental illness, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression. 
Well, bipolar depression, depression, my bad. Physical illness, hypertension, heart disease, cancer, and even poverty, to name a few. Okay, so you think about a generational curse, right? And you like Solomon, but how me going to a psychic can, can do that? Because remember, I said the source is wrong, right? So if you go into a demonic source to get your, I can't even say healing because that, that, that don't, you can't go to a demonic source to get your healing. If you go into a demonic source, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you go into a demonic source to get told something about your life, understand that what they telling you is going to have strings attached to it. Those strings are going to have, see, I, always, I, I, I got a saying. God does blessings. The devil does promises. So those strings that attach to the psychic telling you whatever they're telling you is going to have promises attached to it. But those promises, what the psychic don't tell you, is also attached to Satan himself. Is it getting clear to you now? Is that making sense now? So if you sit down with the psychic or the medium or the tarot card reader, what they're telling you, what they promise you. Remember, I just did the five cards. Let's say it was all good. Let's say they promise you money. They promise you marriage on the second card. They promise you a new house, uh, a new car. And they say they see travel in your future. That all sounds good, right? It all sounds good because I had to do a good one. It sounds good. So understand that. But each one of these things I just said, these five cards I have down, has strings attached to them. So when you grab that card, the one for the money, when you grab that card, Satan holding on to the other side. Is that making sense now? So when you grab that card, you got this side, the devil holding on to this side. He ain't letting go. He ain't letting go because now he got a demonic soul tied with you because you came into agreement with the psychic or the medium or whomever. And guess what? You grab that card or, or let them put that card down on the table. And they said, hey, they see money in your future, money, power, respect, whatever. And guess what? You like, oh, yeah, I, I love that. Well, like, 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 uh, I can't pronounce your first name. I Miss Stucky. Like Miss Stucky just said, you have to understand that the devil is holding on the other side of that card. And guess what? The devil go get his due. He's not going to sit there and let you go through life and, 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 and win all the time. Yeah, you go win some things. Look at some of your celebrities, right? Your agreement open door, open doors, right? Look at some of your celebrities. You'll see they have a rise. They're at the top of their game. Best rapper alive. Best musician, Olivia, thank you for the for the rose. God bless you. Best rapper, best, best H, uh, R and B singer, best uh lyricist, whatever. And then you see those people file. Right, Pastor Israel post that. It, uh, uh, I mean, pin that. It comes with a cost. They have a rise, star fame, got the homes, cars, and guess what? It comes with a cost, like what Pastor Israel just said. And guess what? The devil, remember, I told you he's holding on, he might have gave that card out. He's holding on to that car. He's going to collect. It might be five years from now. It might be 10 years from now. He might let you get a good 20 years. But through those 20 years, I want you to think about this. Through those 20 years, what you had to give up. Thank you for that, Alicia. God bless you. May God return it to you over and over again. Butterfly, thank you for that. So understand that. So you have to understand that the demonic source going to sit down with this tarot card reader or this psychic medium or whomever or this palm reader. These things have strings attached. You come into agreement with a base of the demonic soul tie, right? Let me continue on. Let me continue on. So, psychic cause people to come into agreement with demonic soul ties because of the lies they tell. Now, like I said earlier, can a psychic tell some truth? Yes. It's a little bit of truth with a whole bunch of lies. Or it can be a whole lot of truth with a little bit of lies. Either way, if you understand, the key denominator in that is lies. <laughs> Thank you for that, for that hat. God bless you. The key, the key uh, thing in that, real men pray God bless you, is lies. So if I'm going to somebody that's telling me only half truths and lying to me, do I really want to, why am I paying for that? Think about what I'm saying. Why, why, why would I sit down and pay for that? Why would I sit down and this person and give me, what you said earlier, Prosper Nisha, give me uh, uh, five demon cards. Why, why I want five demon cards? I don't, I don't want, I don't want it. Even though it all sounds good, we said money, we said travel, uh, marriage, I don't know what I said, uh, uh, new house, new car. I think that's kind of what I said. That all sounds good. And a lot of people probably want that. But see, you can get those same things from God. I know you're like, what are you talking about? Well, 
<laughs> How can he say draw four four dreams with a with a wild demon? Oh my goodness. Woo. So what you gotta understand is these cars, although they sound good, although with the psychic tells you sound great. I get it. It sounds great. That's something you man, I want that. I want to get married. I, I want that. But think about this. Think about this for a second. Remember, I said the card that they put down or the psychic, the, the, the stuff they tell you is coming from a demonic source. So let's say you do get a husband. And what the psychic says comes to pass. Mind you, it was a psychic that told you this, not a prophet or a prophetess. Mind you, you sat down and paid for that, and I told you here, and you probably heard this before, that this was a demonic altar, a demonic soul tie that you was, was doing. Mind you, when your husband, which really ain't your husband, think about this. The husband or the wife that comes into play, thank you for that uh, light, light just keeps life, and God bless you. That husband might end up being a narcissist. You know, I teach about that a lot. I know a thing or two about narcissists. My wife does, too. Uh, Jarvis in here as well, Pink Girl Teacher. We know a, a few things, you know, about narcissists. So the husband that you so came made a claim with with this psychic or whomever might be a narcissist, or maybe they're an abuser. Now they might look the part. Remember, familiar spirits. So they might be six foot five. They might have green eyes, high yellow, whatever. I don't know whatever your type is. Like, and then fellas, she might be five five, twenty four, thirty six. You get what I'm saying? But see, remember, I told you it's the source. Keep going back to the source. So they might look the part. They might even sound the part. But what you need to find out is who sent them. You need to find out what their insides like. What I mean is what their heart really like. See, when you first meet somebody, you meeting, you're not reading, you're not meeting a real person. Y'all know that, right? When you go on these dates and stuff, you're not, hey, how you doing? Uh Chevy, welcome, welcome. You're not reading the the the, the real person. You, you mean a representative, right? So what you got to understand is at some point or some time, the, 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 the demonic altar, the thing that you came into agreement with, is going to show us true color. See, in narcissist abuse, we talk about the man slipping. But in this case, we're just talking about the demon showing his face. I don't know if you ever seen a demon before. I know Prosecutor Nisha has seen some. Some, some of y'all have. But the point is, if you marry a demon... I don't think that's going to work out the way you think it is. Matter of fact, I can stand on two feet and how they say that, 10 toes down and know that that's not going to work out the way you think it is. They might provide you with the money. They might give you the cars. You might travel with them. All that stuff. Money. But what you have to give up to be with this person? Because the source. God didn't provide that person. And don't go get mad at God talking about God why you sent this person. No, 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 no. What I need you to do, I need you to remember that you went sat down with that psychic or that or that medium or that palm reader or that tarot card reader, and they told your husband was coming into your life, and you said, Oh yeah, I can't wait. And when that husband showed up, there you go. That wasn't God. Because you didn't sit down and pray to God and ask God to. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. So let's continue. So Isaiah 8, 19 through 20. And when they say to you, inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and murder, mutter, not murder, mutter, M-U-T-T-E-R. Hey, forgive me. Got a certain accent. Should not, should not our people inquire of their God? So basically, why would you go to the, to the, to the mediums and the necromancers and the psychics instead of going to God, the one true living God? Think about what I'm saying. Why, why wouldn't you, so, so you not go pray in your closet or in your, in your car or in your bathroom and talk to God. No, you rather pay money on the phone. I know some of y'all, I know all things not at a table. I know you can dial 1-800-PSYCHIC-LINE, uh, not line, lie, L-I-E, because they lying to you. So you get, you go call them instead of going to God. Let me continue reading. So should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? So it goes back to what I was saying. So you tell them you go go sit down with a with a person, a psychic or, or, or a medium or, or, or a tarot card reader, a palm reader, whichever one. And right, prophet line, that's what they're doing. And, and and have this person talk to someone dead. It says it right here in the scripture. Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? So you go talk to a dead person, a dead spirit. 
to inquire about the living? That doesn't even make sense. So it goes on to say to the teaching and to the testimony, if they would not speak according to his word, to this word, it is because they have no darn. So why are you going to the to the psychics? Hey, Uncle, how you doing? Uh, say, Young King from Washington. Welcome, oh, God bless you. Why are you going to psychic? It's in scripture that you shouldn't go to these people. You ain't got to believe me. I'm putting it. We're putting the verses up there. Go, 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 go read it for yourself. So test the spirit by the spirit, right? Okay. So again, don't, uh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So this is not bad. Not bad. So I know I've got to do a part two on this at some point. So don't neglect your discernment. Or a gut feeling. I know some of y'all call it a gut feeling. When people tell you things. Meaning, I'm not talking about the psych. I'm talking about when the prophet or the prophetess tell you something that you might want to do. You need to you need to pray. You need to you need to get out of that church. You need to get, you know what I'm saying? Get away from that person because they 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 see in the spirit. Don't neglect that. Now, if the psychic is telling you this stuff, you shouldn't be listening to them anyway. I just backed it with scripture. Again, Isaiah 8, 19 through 20. Back to the scripture, go read it for yourself. We are not impasse, right, right. So what we must understand is that the prophet, if they are real prophet, we ain't talking about the fake prophets, will tell you the truth from God. The fake prophets, the, the psychics, the palm readers, the tarot card readers, uh, whatever they call, what they call it? tarot card readers? Yeah, I guess they call it readers too, tarot card readers. All those people... Are, are fake and they false and they only doing it to get money some of them on tiktok do it at nighttime think about it check this out this just hit me just now why you don't see a lot of psychics and mediums during the day they only come on late at night think about what i'm saying they not they not on at, at, at noon and, and, and three o'clock in the afternoon they come on at, at 10 11 12 o'clock night and stay on in the wee hours doing the what what it's called Anybody know the witching hours? Why are they on at that time? Why are you not on like I'm on right now? Not saying they don't have any, but I know most of them are on at around midnight. When you scroll through TikTok, you're like, man, get off my page. They they on right. Right, Mr. Witching hours. They on doing the witching hour. That should tell you something. It, if you notice, things that psychics and people like that do is always demonic and around darkness. Now, when I'm talking about darkness, I'm talking about nighttime, too. You get what I'm saying? Right. Between the hours of 12 and 5 a.m. That's what Prosper Nisha just said. Right. So, understand that. So, think about why they got to go live then. Why they don't go live at, at 3 p.m. Why they got to wait till midnight to get up here and, and, and read tarot card readings. And, and, and I seen one I was scrolling through. He said, uh, tell me your name and I'll tell you your future. Man, bro, I got out of there. I wasn't in the live. You know, you just strolling through. I was like, bro, come on, bro. Tell me your name and I'll tell you a few. Nah, I won't tell you my name. I, I, I'm not even going into your life. Or, or they got the ones that are doing the tarot card readings and say, come, come. I'll do a tarot card reading for you tonight. And they, and when you when you go into there, the only reason why I go, I want to see how many people in there. I'll I, I be going to see how many people are deceived. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, write your name in the chat. They say all that. Man, write your name in the chat. How long, bro? I want to say many people, it'd be a couple thousand people be in there. Three, four, five thousand be in some of these. You ever, I ain't tell you to go in there, but I just go in there. I go right out. I just want to see the number. Two, three, four thousand people in there listen to this joke or tell stuff about tarot card readings and, and, and write your name. And I'm, I'm sitting there wondering like, all these people are lost. They lost souls. Right. I'll do, I'll do the one free and the next for six, six. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why they picked the number six, 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 right? So you have to understand that when these people are on these things late at night, don't go over there and talk talking to these people. And yeah, block with the quickness. Yeah. Yeah. Cause cause these witches, warlocks, these these necromancers, these mediums, the all these people, man, they it's all demonic and evil. I don't care which way you slice it, it's all demonic and evil. So we gotta have a better understanding of what we're getting involved with. Okay, I'll get I'll ask you another question. I'm about to wrap up real soon. I thought the message was a little bit longer, but God did it the way where we, you know, able to get in and out. Uh, think about this. When, 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 when you're dating somebody, right? When you first meet them, when you first meet them, let me put it this way. When you first meet them, man or woman, when you first meet them, and it could be a, a professional 
or a personal relationship, right? When you meet this person, do you do you tell them like everything about you? What I mean by that, like I'm talking about the first time sitting down with them, do you tell them everything that happened to you as a child and, and, and your upbringing? I'm just asking the question. Do, do, do you do that? If you do, I'm going to pray for you, but I mean, probably going to say no. Think about what I'm saying because, see, if you're going to sit down with a psychic or somebody like that, right, and they're going to sit there and tell you your whole childhood on the first meeting, not saying that the prophets and the prophetess can't do that because they can too. But my point is when the when the psychic do that and then they tell you, you know, let's say you 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 do, I don't know, $80 for one hour, right? And then they start telling you all this stuff. And then guess what? It's $80 for the next hour, right? So you sit in there listening to all these lies and stuff, prophet line like Prophet Nisha said earlier. And they're telling you things about your childhood and it sounds good. And some of the stuff, you remember some of this stuff. You're like, man, I remember. Yeah, I do remember losing my tooth at six. Yeah, I remember that. And you're like, how do they know that? Like, oh, man, it got to be from God. Nah, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I, I got my buzz. I do got one sound effect. Nah, it ain't. Mm -mm. It, it ain't. Let me hit it again. It is not from God. If they tell you it's from God, man, get up. Oh, they on Clubhouse? Oh, she said they on Clubhouse doing it too? And Zuber and Queen said they do most do the most on Clubhouse. So I don't even be on Clubhouse. Yeah, you're right. They, they did used to do that. I, don't, I haven't been on Clubhouse in like months and months. The only time I go on there, to be honest, which is like for real estate stuff. And I go in there, listen to a real estate thing, and I, I pretty much get out. Uh, I, I don't really mess with it like that. But on 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 TikTok, them tarot card readers, like man, they be on there. I, yeah, I, I heard y'all talking about that. Uh, 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 prophetess was uh, using tarot cards. Well, what kind of prophet prophet you think she is? Think, think about this. She claimed to be a woman of God, claimed to be a prophetess, and she doing tarot card readings. I know you're talking about. I seen her strolling through. There was a woman that looked like us, black woman. I, am I right? Am I right, Protestant? There was a black woman that I seen, and she she was talking about she was a prophetess, but she was doing tarot card reading. I was like, what in the? I had to get. I didn't go into the live again. I was strolling, and I was like, nah. Okay, so yeah, I'm telling you. And she was in there, basically saying she prophesying over people, and she saying she said what she said. I remember I listened to it because I was in the live. I just I said, hear what this woman saying. This is just crazy to me for her to do, do tarot card. She said most people don't understand what a what a true prophet uh, prophetess is. We we can do psychic readings and 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 and, and uh, tarot card. Just part of our stuff. Okay, wifey. <laughs> Shannon about to go live. I'm about, I'm about to wrap up anyway here shortly. She about to go live on uh, YouTube. Uh, how you doing? Uh, is it is it Nisi Booker? I want to mess your name up. God bless you. So you have to understand that, nah, that, that's, that's a lie. A prophetess up there doing tarot card readings and say they from God? Right. Who said that? I just seen it pop up. Beautiful souls say it doesn't align with the Bible. That's my point. So if we read the Bible for ourselves, and I mean, I've been challenging people to go buy a Bible. Get, get, I'm talking about a paper book. And the reason why I'm saying that, if they ever shut down the internet, you need to have this stuff. I got two Bibles. I got one by Tony Evans, a commentary Bible, and I got another King James Version Bible right here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I got a bunch of different books and everything. Oh, that's what I do want to mention since we're right here on TikTok. So I'm about to wrap up here shortly. I do want to mention we are starting a book club. It's going to be on my YouTube once I get this sound effect and stuff right. We're starting a book club, and the first book, I don't have it. The first book is, uh, Arne, are you still in there? I can't remember the title. It's by Derek Prince, and it's called Does Your Tongue Need Healing? That's the name of the book. The reason why I'm saying that now is because it's nice. Okay, nice. Okay, all right. The reason why I'm saying that now is because uh, I'm giving you a couple weeks to buy the book. It's a small book, so it's not, it's not even a, a thick book. It's very, very thin. But it's called Does Your Tongue. There you go. Uh, Arne, Does Your Tongue Need Healing? It's an can I pin that? I, if you want to be part of the book club, uh, it's going to be on my part of my YouTube channel. So I'm going to figure out how we're going to. But anyway, we're starting a book club. Uh, and the first book we're doing is by Derek Prince. It's called Does Your Tongue Need Healing by Derek Prince. Small little book. It's no more than seven or eight bucks. It's not, not no $30 book. So we're starting off with a small book. Uh, okay, uh, real men press. I got my book. So if you want to win with a club, well, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm gonna give everybody about two weeks. So let's see. So I'm about to get my wife. My wife will be on the live with me. 
Uh, I'll make an announcement here. And then also on YouTube, I'll make an announcement on my community tab. So you'll see when, when, when the book loan, the first meeting going to be. And uh, I got to see how we're going to do that and break it because I got a lot of stuff going on. But I, I, I say we're going to do it. So, yes, we are going to do it. So we're definitely going to do the book club. But the first book, Price Monique, can you put that up there again? It's going to be Does Your Tongue Need Healing by Dig Prince. Like I said, it's a little bitty skinny, skinny book uh, that we're going to do. And I got an idea for the second book already. Uh, if And I haven't read this book. But matter of fact, no, 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 no. Shannon wants to do another book. Let me see if I have. Yeah, I got it right here. Hold on. Okay, so the first book, Does Your Tongue Need Healing, right? And you don't have to buy this book next because we're going to be in that first book probably for, I don't know, a month, you know, breaking it down and reading it or whatever. The second book, Shannon said that we were going to do, I didn't read a lot of this book. This book right here is by uh, John Eckhart. So if y'all want to put this one in the chat, this is the second book, you want to go ahead and buy your copy. But we're going to do this all throughout the year. This is a Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual by John Eckhart. Again, it's Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual. This one costed, uh, I think it's like 16, 16, 18 bucks. Uh, so that, that'll be, that'll be the next book. Again, deliver. So the first book is Does Your Tongue Need Healing? We're going to start that in a couple weeks. We're going to start that book club, uh, start the book club. We came up with the name, I can't remember the name, uh, what we called it, Proscognition, but it was a name for faith-based work, something. But we're going to start with that first book. The second book, if you want to go ahead and get your copy, Deliverance Spiritual Warfare Manual by John Eckhart. This is a thicker book, so it'll take a little bit longer to do this, so we'll probably be honest with you. This one might take, uh, I ain't going to say it'll take to the, the end of the year, but it'll take a little bit longer to do this book, right? So the first book, again, it's a faith-based book club. Okay, yeah, that's what it was called. So that's the name of the book club. I forgot. <laughs> Proclamation, my sister, she keep me in line. Her and my wife, uh, what's for them right now? I'll be kind of lost in the sauce with stuff. But so faith-based book club, we're going to start that. And then uh, the first book again, Does Your Tongue Need Healing by Dave Prince. The second book, so you can always, already have your copy, is Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual by John Eckhart. You can probably get this off of Amazon, your local bookstore, or whatever. So... Yes. Yes. So get both of them. And then we'll figure out what the third book. I, I, I've i been buying books. Proclamation, did I tell you? I got, well, to all y'all, I have one more book to get out of the seven. Uh, okay. She said we're going to post a flyer with all the information. About okay. Thank you. Thank you. That, that'll help out. Uh, I'm going to end up getting into these books right here. Let me get these books. And I'm almost done with this psychic thing. Hold on. Let me show y'all. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm just lining up. Not saying I'm going to do these books this year. I'm not saying that, but just saying, if you want to line up, these are all good books. As a matter of fact, I need to create me a uh, a YouTube link. My wife has one. I mean, not a YouTube link, an uh, uh, Amazon link with all the books that I have. I'm starting to load up with books. This is the most books I've ever had, but I need to load up with my books, create a link, load up the books, and then share it when I'm going live on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Oh, last Bible verse. Hold on. Let me read this last Bible verse so I can, I can finish this up before I get into these books. So the last thing with the psychic, the, remember that the psychics who are fake will tell you lies from the devil. And then also, uh, first, uh, <coughs> man, these Thessalonians 521, but test everything. Remember I said test the spirit by the spirit earlier? Te but test everything. Hold fast what is good. So if you test, I guarantee if you go sit down with a psychic and really go in there, I'm talking about with, with, you know, praying and stuff for you going there, I guarantee, I can guarantee, I don't guarantee too many things, but I can guarantee you, you go have, you go have, you know what you call that gut feeling. Some of your spirit going to be vexed. It's not going to feel right. You sitting down talking to the person. If you're really a prayer warrior and sitting down reading books and, and, and studying your Bible and, and, and then coming around, you know, like, like my channel, my wife channel, Prosper, Nisha, Prosper, Jam, and other, I guarantee you sit down probably before you even get a money, but like, man, something, something. Something don't feel right. Something off. You know what I'm saying? So to me, okay, I'll contact you. Through, okay, all right. Thank you, Prof. Kanish. You, you gotta understand that something, something probably off. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta get a better understanding. So, so, so to wrap this up, I'm end up doing a part two on this. So this is not gonna be the first one. Uh, I mean, the first and only about psychics. Cause I'm gonna end up doing tarot card readings and break that down uh, a little bit more. Just remember, don't go to the psychics because they're not of God. Stop going to tarot card readers because they're not of God. Stop going to palm readers. They're not of God. Matter of fact, just hit me. You know, I had the fair. They used to have that, that, that little. I don't, I don't know if y'all old enough. I'm 45. I don't know how old y'all. You ain't got to say age. 
Remember I had the fatties that had that thing, what it's called, Zoton? What it was called? Pastor Ezra probably know what I'm talking about. I think it's called Zoton or whatever. Matter of fact, it was in the movie Big. It, it was a little thing, it was like a little, uh, a little uh, genie looking thing inside a glass. You know what I'm talking about? And, and, and you go over there and he tell you a fortune. Zoton. That's what, see, I didn't see my, my sister owned it. Zoton. Y'all remember what I'm talking about? A genie. How many of y'all think, and we can agree to disagree, how many of y'all think that going to talk to Zoton, because I seen him at some, some things for real. Going to talk to Zoton, if you came into agreement with that, you might want to repent for that. Think about what I'm saying. Because if Zoton tell you stuff, you agreeing with that stuff. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to, just think about what I'm saying. If Zoton told you different things, yeah, that's why I'm about to get off here too, Prophet Kanisha. My wife going live right now at 7 o'clock on, on YouTube. She, she got, we're going to get this, my computer fixed so, you know, get everything straight. So it worked out the way it's supposed to work out. Uh, yeah, fortune cookies too. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing teachings about that as well. Yeah, that old machine, Zoton, right, Butterfly, right, right. Right, so before I go, I told y'all about the two books. Prosper needs to go set up a flyer so we can do that, so we can do the book club so I can join. Uh, he'll go, some book. I'm going to show you the books and I'm about to wrap them and get up out of here. I'm going to pray. Uh, so this is the book I always read from. Uh, Prayers that rob demons and break curses. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read a couple of renunciations right now because we covered a lot. Let me go to page, 12, is it 12 or 14? Let me see, I think it's 12. Y'all want to say renunciations after me? Hey, y'all can. That's 14. Okay, let me read a few of these renunciations right quick. Again, this is, uh, oh yeah, Reiki Yoga. So my teachings this year go, go into a lot of those things that y'all talking about. Reiki, Yoga, uh, Karate, Taekwondo. I get it. A lot of y'all probably, I, I had to repent for doing, I was a kid. I didn't know. But a lot of this stuff is, we're we going we gonna to break them down. I have different teachings on that. It's going to be on my YouTube most likely. But yeah, so Karate, Reiki, uh, Yoga, all that stuff. Taekwondo, Judo, Judo, Jiu-Jitsu. We're going to get into all of it this year. It's going to be a year of exposure. A year of exposure. Vision boards. <laughs> I get it. Hey, I, I seen something the other day that somebody doing vision boards. But then I seen somebody post it. I don't do vision boards. I do prayer boards. I said, I'll do the prayer board. I ain't doing no vision boards. But we're going to get into all that throughout the year. Yeah, karate too. Yeah, karate too. I had to dig into that. Uh, I never looked into boxing. I don't. I don't think boxing is on the same day as karate, but I, I haven't studied that, so I, I I can't answer that one. But I don't think so. But I'm not sure. But I know karate and all the other ones. Yeah, yeah. My wife. Yeah, she on YouTube. So let me read a few renunciations so we can get up out of here. I renounce all witchcraft. You can repeat if you want to. Sorcery, divination, and occult involvement in the name of Jesus. Prosper Nisha, tell, can you tell her right quick, uh, Miss Tonya, about the vision boards, if you know about that? It's, it's just it's a whole nother. I'm going to do a teaching on it in the next few months. It's, it's all demonic. Uh, I renounce all ungodly soul ties and immoral relationships in the name of Jesus. I renounce all envy, jealousy, and covetousness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Proxenish. Uh pin down Proxenish. Yeah, vision boards are demonic. And yes, it's all part of new age and 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 yeah, I don't think boxing is demonic either, but but vision boards and stuff. Do a prayer board. Don't do a vision board. I know everybody doing it at your job, I get it, but that's no, don't do it. Uh one more. I renounce all ungodly thought patterns and belief systems. In the name of Jesus. And the reason why I read that one, because we came into belief with psych, not we, but some of us have come into agreement with, 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 with psychics and mediums. And that's why I did this teaching. And also with vision boards and karate and yoga and jujitsu and all these different things. We got to come out of agreement. So I'm going to read that one more time. I renounce all ungodly thought patterns and belief systems in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, I'm about to get up out of here, but I do. I want to pray before we get out of here. Again, Prophet Kanisha put that book up there. Prophet Shea put it up there already. Uh, prayers that rock demons and break curses. Might be a book we're going to get. I don't know yet. I, the two, we definitely doing the two that I already told you about. Uh, this is a seven book series. Prophet Kanisha, I have you know. Since you're going to be proud of me. I have six of them now. Uh, prayers that bring healing and activate blessings. 
So this number two is the big, uh, the hard copy. Prayers that move mountains. That's all John Eckhart. That's all books you get. Hey, pray about it. If God leads you to it. I got all these. Off, well, most of them I got off of uh, Amazon. A couple I did buy in the bookstore. Prayers that bring healing. That's all smaller books. So I think books like this are good for the book club. But like I said, I don't know uh, what's going to be our third book. We got our first two, though. Prayers that release heaven on earth. It's another one. Small book. John Eckhart. Uh oh, she said mine is from Amazon Audible. Amen. And then the last one, I just got these last two. Uh, the one I just showed you, and this one, prayers that break curses. This is the red one. Uh, again, John Eckhart. But we have the two books. We have uh, Does Your Tongue Need Healing by Dead Prince, the first book. So you got two weeks to get that book. It's about six, seven bucks. Uh, we go make that announcement. We go get with We go make that announcement over on YouTube. Probably do a flyer over on TikTok. We're going to do that book first. I never did a book club, but it's fun. I want to do it. So, yeah, and the second book is, uh, what I do with that book? I didn't know what I did with it. Oh, here you go. <laughs> I'm looking around like, where that book at? The second book is this one, uh, Deliverance and Spiritual Warfare Manual. Because a lot of us have been through spiritual warfare. Some of us know, some of us don't. So, this will be the second book. That's by John Eckhart. So, the first book is by Derek Prince, a, a powerful teacher from what I'm seeing. The second book will be the lyric. Thank you, Prophet Kanisha, for putting it in there. So we got our two books to start our book club. So that's what I have been praying about. Shannon, I talked about it. So this is our two books. And then once we get this started, if you have recommendations for other books, hey, we go look into that as well. So we can get into that as well. But that's books that I read uh, all the time. I haven't read some of these, but this one right here, you guys, Prophet Kanisha, I'm in this one like all the time. I'm starting to get into this one a little bit more too. I just love John Eckhart and 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 Derek Prince. They some and, and Tony Evans, you know, good teachers. But let's pray so we can get out of here. I'm gonna go over to my wife channel because she just started her live over there. I think she's doing a podcast, an interview. So she's streaming live with us. So I'm gonna go over there and support. And if you want to come over there, it's Narc Free Living. You can follow her here on TikTok. And then also go uh go uh support her on YouTube. She's live right now. Uh, so let me uh, let me pray. God, we just kind of get to just praying, just saying thank you. We 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 realized the enemy was busy with the message, trying to uh, do whatever on YouTube, but we still was able to get the message out here on TikTok. So we thank God for the TikTok community and for people coming from YouTube over to TikTok. It, uh, the, the distraction and the delay, it it, it only just let the message just go out like it was supposed to. Who was supposed to be here was supposed to be here. And I think we ended up with more people over on TikTok anyway, so it worked out the way it's supposed to work out. So we just pray over. Everyone that came in and sowed a seed, whether it was a sow to seed of time or sow to seed of money or through the chats, we just say thank you, Holy Father. We pray over every man, woman, boy, and girl, uh, every every family that's represented here, every business that's represented here, uh, oh Holy Father. We praying for kingdom businesses. We praying for kingdom finances, an uh, increase in kingdom finances. We praying for an increase in kingdom credit as well. So we just thank you for, for, for the single and the married people. We praying for the people that are single, that they keep their spouse. Uh, that I, I know you're working on them and, 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 and groom them the way they need to be. We pray to just uh, give them patience as you as, as you heal them and heal their keep their spouse as well. So we pray for all the children that's represented on this on this live. You know, children, the devil try to get the children when they're young through many different ways. So we want to make sure that we cover the children in prayer. We pray that as we get ready. To go to bed tonight, Holy Father, we have dreams, Holy Father, that dreams that we can use uh, into the next day, Holy Father. And we pray that tonight is one of the best night sleeps that we ever had, Holy Father. We pray that 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 any issues so far as uh like like uh, hypertension or 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 high blood pressure or low blood pressure or diabetes or anything like that, Holy Father, that's not our portion. So we 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 binding it up and casting it out right now, Holy Father. We don't come into agreement with any of those. Uh, uh, diseases and it's so many more to name cancers and, and lupus and so much more. We come out of agreement with all that on fire. If we're on medication right now, we praying that somehow, some way we can get off the medication. Make sure we go to our doctor and get approval. But we going to you right now, Holy Father, petition the courts of heaven that somehow, some way, the medication that we are on that may we able to get off of these things, Holy Father. So we praying for these businesses, Holy Father, that's represented right now. We praying that kingdom people continue to support the small business, Holy Father. And, and, and if you can, just mention their name or give them a Google review or whatever the case may be, Holy Father. We pray for the pastors. We pray for the prophets. We pray for the prophets. We pray for the bishops and the apostles that came in this life. Or listening to this live or whatever, Holy Father. We pray that they each one of them are touched as well, Holy Father. And we pray over their ministry because we all are doing ministry in different ways. But at the end of the day, we're just trying to lead people to you, Holy Father. It's not about views and likes, it's about saving souls for Christ. So as we close out and get ready to go to my wife live, Holy Father, we pray over that. 
ministry as well, North Free Living. We pray that you cover her, Heavenly Father, that no hurt, harm, or danger comes to her, that no, no, uh, no, no Wi-Fi issues or anything like that comes over the channel, Heavenly Father. So this we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for being over here on TikTok. Uh, like I say, follow me on YouTube. We're going to get that situated. Hopefully, we get it ironed out by next Wednesday. I'll give a little level and figure out what's going on. But uh, thank y'all again. If not, hey, we know we can come on TikTok and, and always have a good message. But God bless y'all. And I will be downloading this to YouTube. So I'll download this one and upload it to YouTube. So we will have that as well. So. Again, thank each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for the likes. We got up to 30 something thousand likes. Thank y'all. We I think we had like what it was like 80 something, 90 people I seen at one time. So that was always awesome as well. To uh go over to my wife's channel. Uh I know she's doing a discussion right now, Narc Free Living. So go check her out as well. And uh I'll see y'all next time. Good night. Now this thing won't cut off. <laughs> it don't want to let me go, y'all. All right, y'all. Good night.